Court. A Palm Beach Gardens teenager was involved in a horrific boating accident, and thanks to his quick thinking, Hudson Dome is still alive today. WPTV News Channel 5's Alex Hagan has a story of survival, recovery, and now giving back. All right, so this is the boat that helped me get through everything. If there was one passion, spend as much time as I can on it. Hudson Dome would pick. Yeah. Boating is it, no doubt. I feel like when I'm out on the boat, I have no worries. And it just so happens the highs of his passion. We're heading back up near Pennock Point. Would meet his lowest point in his 17-year life. I'm always going to love boating my whole life, and even though it really messed up mine, I'm still still have a love a lot of love for it. January 2021. About five minutes away now. Hudson was with some friends right here on the Loxahatchee River in Jupiter. And I just I got thrown off the front, right up here, and that is the moment that forever changed my life. And as soon as it happened, I just I felt a really I just felt like something slapped my leg really hard. I just saw a mangled leg rise to the top of the water. So we would get to the dock, and I told the boys to hand me a ski rope on the boat. And then I started to tie it around my leg. The tourniquet was instrumental in saving his life. Doctors Robert Borrego. So dedicated. And Stephen Quinnen at St. Mary's Medical Center were with Hudson every step of the way. It was clear that it was going to be a very big undertaking. Hudson woke up on a ventilator and wrote three words. And I wrote, I'm a fighter. And I live by that every day. Every time I'm having a tough time, I just look at my wrist and see I'm a fighter. Without even the thought of amputation, Hudson had 28 surgeries over several months. I knew I had to just keep fighting and keep pushing or else I wouldn't have made it. His leg is now reconstructed. So this is a skin flap and they actually had to take this off of my left leg. He's very strong. He's very strong and he has incredible, uh, you know, mindset. And uh, he's going to be a big thing. I mean, there's no question. He is. Well, basically, you saved your own life. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Which brings us to Stop the Bleed Day here at St. Mary's more than two years later. Could have let out if we didn't do that. Hudson is now sharing his survival story. Start up here. And lessons on tourniquets. Put this in here. Hopefully this will save many other lives. A newfound passion born from the fight. I do not want this to happen to anybody else out there. Of his life. In Jupiter, Alex Hagan. That I just wanted to get back to this life. WPTV News Channel 5. And that class hasn't taught at St. Mary's was his first, but certainly it won't be his last. He does plan to share his story with others to make sure that voting safety...